Hey guys, so today I have a video for you about, sorry, I'm just adjusting my chair, the Lime Crime Venus XL palette. Sorry, this is the little plastic that comes inside of it, it's just kind of in the way right now. So for size comparison, it is the size of the other two Venus palettes put together. When I initially heard about this coming out, I hadn't really seen pictures of the inside of it yet, so I assumed that they had put these two together into one giant palette, but that is not the case. This is brand new, all new colors. Um, I really enjoy the other two palettes. This was the first Venus, and then Venus 2 had the really weird colors in it, but I like it because I, do, like, I don't have a mustard color like that or a crazy olive, so this was a really nice one to have. And this one is all like pink and red, pink and red toned, I guess I would say. Um, there is no color names on the back, it's all inside, so whoop, <laughs> that's what the mirror looks like, I still have the little plastic on it. Am I the only one that like leaves the plastic on here because I can't stand seeing the mirror get super dirty? I never use the mirrors in here, any in the palettes anyway, so um, this is what it looks like. Let's see. So there are 18 shadows in here. These are all new colors. I really enjoy the uh, color selection in here, I guess you could say. Um, as soon as I opened it and looked at it, it definitely struck me as like a good companion palette to the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette, which is also very red and pink toned. So like just putting them, you can't really see together, but putting them with each other, like this is a brighter version of Flora and this fresh meat one is pretty close to Passion. Just like a lot of similar colors, but not the exact same. So just thought I would mention that because that was the first palette that I have that reminded me of this when I opened it was the blood sugar one, so, which is also, that was the last palette I bought before this one. Um, so I'm just going to do some swatches really quick because there's a lot of colors in here, so let's see. <laughs> I am going to grab a wipe. I'm going to do them on the back of my hand just because when I do them on my arm it's harder. So Eden is like a, it's not super metallic, but it definitely has a metallic finish. How would I describe this one? A, a copper, I guess, like a pinkish, pink toned copper. And then we have Love, which I am wearing on my lid today. This is more of a metallic bronzy shade. Then we've got Passion. This is a matte pinkish berry color. Now I will say the mattes are very dry to the touch, but they're extremely pigmented. Like this Botticelli color is so dry, it's almost like it feels like it's scraping your finger when you touch it. but insanely pigmented, so, um, Fresca is really cool, unique color. This is like a matte grayish taupe, and it's got gold glitter in it, and the glitter actually transfers pretty well when you use it on the eye. If you have a fluffier brush that you're using, like I used it in my crease one day, with a fluffy blending brush and the glitter kind of wanted to just fleck away, but if you're packing it on, it has no problem staying on. So like if you use this color on the lid, it's fine. Then we have Inspire, which is another... This one's not really metallic as much as glittery, and it's a little bit chunky. This one's more of a magenta shade. And then Idolized, it's a really nice um, camel caramel color. I'm going to do that one right across the bottom here so you can see. 
So that's the first row across the top. And definitely with the darker pinky shades, you're going to get some staining. <laughs> then again, I don't have the best uh, makeup remover wipes here right now. I'm using baby wipes. Not even baby wipes, they're toddler wipes. Flushable toddler wipes for Aiden's bum. Let's see. I'll use the last of my Elmay eye makeup remover pads here and see if this helps any. So definitely, I don't have a base on my hand. You definitely need a good base with these shadows to not get staining. Okay, <laughs> it's about as good as that's gonna get right now. Now we have Aphrodite, which again, it's a matte, so it's really dry, but look at how pigmented it is. And I haven't had any issues with the mattes blending at all on my eye or anything. So this is a really, really dark red-toned brown. I don't even really want to call it brown. It's like a really dark maroon. Then we've got New Classic. This one's nice and soft. This is a metallic brown. Again, has a bit of a red base to it though. Then we've got Burnt Gold. This is a matte, not really gold at all. It's a chocolatey brown. Um, Flora is a matte coral, almost like a fluorescent coral, uh, neon coral here. <laughs> then Scallop is a matte pinky cream, I guess. That one's really nice. Mm, that was, it's more of a peach. I'll go with peach. <laughs> And then we've got Celestial, which is a matte brownish base with gold glitter in there. So that is row number two. For the last row, we have Ethereal. This is a pinky peach iridescent shade. got almost a bit of like a pink shift to it there. I don't know how well it's coming across. <clears throat> Triumph is a matte... I want to say maroon again. <laughs> There's so many maroonish colors in here. It's definitely like a pink toned red. That was a horrible swatch, but that's what that one looks like. Again, that one feels very dry to the touch. Um, Supreme, this one's super soft. <sighs> so, so soft that it gets chunky when you try to pick it up on your finger like that. So this one has more of a satin finish, and it's more of a like mauve brown shade. That one's the only one that's like kind of kind of patchy. I haven't used that one on my eyes yet, so I'm not sure how it performs, but uh, Blank Canvas. This is a matte, but this is the only matte in here that's actually soft, and it is a light cream shade. Then we have Botticelli, which I already said is the driest one in this palette. It almost feels gritty, but it's insane the pigmentation. It's an almost black maroon shade. Again with the maroon. Well, it's more of like a purplish berry. A blackened berry. <laughs> Blackberry. Well, that's what I'll call it. It's a blackberry shade. Oh, I just made such a mess over here. Okay. And then the last one is Goddess. This is more of a satin finish too. It's a rose pink. And I have that one in my crease today. So that is what the Venus palette looks like. So I really like it so far. 
um, I wish that the matte shades were a little bit softer, like a little bit softer to the touch because they feel really, I don't know, they just feel super scratchy when you touch them. But on the other hand, they blend really well and they perform nicely on the eyes. So I guess I, I can't fault them that much because it would be one thing if they were scratchy and super chalky and uh, patchy and everything, but they're not. So they're just scratchy, but they're super pigmented, <laughs> which is kind of odd because you don't get that all that much with um, eyeshadows. Usually when they're scratchy like that, they apply very patchy and icky. So um, really no big issues with it other than the super dry mattes. Um, I really like the Fresca color because that's one that like I don't have that in any other palette that I can think of offhand. Um, Passion is really pretty, this crazy magenta shade. Um, I just really like it as a whole. This is a very, like, I wish this had come out for Valentine's Day because it's a very Valentine color schemed palette to me anyway. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, I can't really think of anything else to say about it. Oh, anyways, it has the same design as the other two, just different colors. The first one, she had blue hair. The second one was more pinky red hair. And then this is bright red hair. I like this one the best because it's pink. I love pink everything. But uh, yeah, so trying not to drag this out too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, and I will talk to you next time.